So one of the attendees today asked about uh, case cost financing and some suggested language for the retainer agreement in case they want to pass through the interest to their client and treat that as a case cost. I have to tell you from where I sit, it's uh, it's one of these bold moves coming out of the pandemic. More and more law firms are saying, I don't want to be a lawyer and a lender anymore to my clients. I don't want to pay for my case costs with my after-tax dollars. That's not smart money. Um, I know you've mentioned jumping into this type of debt w with two feet. And from your perspective as a consultant, what, what are your thoughts on financing disbursements. And, you know, I find it very interesting because I think it's it's not understood. You know, you could finance your disbursements and pay the interest yourselves or finance the disbursements and have the interest calculated for you and pass it through to the clients. There's different options. Either way, it's better than using your own money. It's kind of like the analogy that I came up with. If I said to anyone on the webinar today that you have equity in your home, let's say you have a $2 million home and you have a million dollar mortgage, and I said you could borrow a million dollars and have someone else pay the principal and interest. Would you consider that? Most of them would say, yeah, I would actually become more educated on that and see if it's ethical and responsible and how it works. That's an opportunity for contingency fee law firms. So what's your perspective on this? It's indisputable. Growth takes up a lot of cash and you grow your firm by increasing the value of your cases or getting more cases in the door. And both of those things require cash. And so, you know, having a, a banking partner that understands the business, understands the industry and understands that, you know, when I work with firms and I go in there, they're financing their case costs, it puts a crunch on what they can do to grow their firm in other regards, whether it's you know marketing, whether it's hiring another attorney to handle the cases that, that have come in the door, it really cripples them. And so we'll look and go, okay, let's free up this this cash. Now, we've decided, okay, we're gonna disclose to the client where, where each state has different bar rules, but in our state, we're allowed to pass on a certain amount of interest to the client. Now, we can't earn interest as a firm, if, even if it was our own dollars, that's we're precluded from doing that, but, we can go to a bank and say, okay, here's the interest rate, disclose it to the client and say, understand that when we um, that use incur costs in your case, this is how we're going to be doing it. Are you okay? And 99.9% .9 of the time, it's, it's not even an issue. If it's an issue at any point during the um, disbursement, often we'll just waive that interest and we'll, we'll pay it. But it, we would not have been able to grow as a law firm like we have without doing it that way.